Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're working on Anatomy of a Mix number three. The song is I Remember by Drive By Angels. Today part two is how we get our drum sounds and how we mix our drums. Hope you enjoy the video. If you dig it, please subscribe to the channel. We could use your support. Hit the notification bell so we'll let you know when more videos like this are made and give us a thumbs up if you can. Thanks again, thanks for your support, enjoy the video. So now let's start checking out our drum sounds. So that's our first kick. Make sure that's all we're getting. All right, so our first kick drum is up. So let's phase align our drums. So the, the way we phase align the drums are, we're gonna use this auto align plugin. So if you can see on the overheads, they're sending out on one of the eight channels auto align has in it internally. So the kick is receiving on one. So we're gonna let the kick detect, find its phase that way. And then we're gonna jump down to the snare. We can do multiple snares receiving on one. So once those are all lined up, you can see the snare is sending on three and the kick sending on two. All the other samples and additional kicks and snares are gonna be lined up to that. So let's give that a shot. So here's kick number two. We're gonna line that. Kick number three. These will all come out probably looking at 107. So it's great to have everything in here and you could use it as you see fit. You don't have to use everything all the time. And then we're gonna do the same with our snares. First snare we did. So we're gonna do it with our extra snare samples that follow. So this is receiving on three, which is where the snare is sending from, as is this one. They should all say 203 at some point or 202. So let's do our room sound now. The room is calculating from the overheads. Let's keep working. Let's take a listen to our kick drum. All right, that sounds pretty cool. We're gonna get in there and do a little work now. Pro Q2, I usually like to set for some filtering on, I use it on everything and I go real fast. I give myself 10 or 15 seconds. So let me find the low end and the high end and sweep those out. Cool, okay, so I usually take care of all those issues right off out of the gate. So pretty much there's a, gonna be that Pro-Q, and then I'm gonna have an SSL on every channel. And I'm just gonna hit this to the start setting, and we'll hear what we have.
cool. The 8K is always an, a nice one on that EQ. Let's go to the kick sample. nice down here close to 50 hertz is another nice frequency let's try the 8k cool let's try to combine the two of them Let's move on to the kick sample too. Sounds pretty good the way it is. Let's compare. So I have the artist mix. And I, I have two of those, and I have a, a, the control, iDoc control, with the program on it. And you can see what I'm, when I'm move, looking down, moving on faders, that's what I'm... So the first one sounded like it's not as good as the other ones, or it's a little boxy, so let's check that out. That feels better. All right, so we have our kick samples in, except the room sound. Let's pop that in. And the room sound's going, once again, to the stereo output. So the detail knob I was adjusting just to make sure they don't misfire and we're catching all of them. Okay, kicks are done. Let's go and move down the snares.
first sample. Okay, so so far we have two samples, and now we're going to put in our ambient samples. Cool, let's pop up. Let's take a look at what's happening on our kick. Auxmaster. So our kick's going through our outboard 1176 and pull tech. Oh, and it's also going through a Tone Lux EQ and a Fab Filter Pro G, sorry, gate. So our snare is going through a pull tech as well. And it's going through a Tone Lux EQ as well. And it's going through the same. Over here we have all our sidechain effects. So sidechain A is a API 2500 and all the drums and bass and percussion goes through. Uh, this particular one is a bass and kick sidechain. So it's, it's a compressor to glue them together. Uh, we'll get back on those in a minute, we'll circle around. There's a kick and snare drum crush compressor. Sidechain C's an 1176 for some mid-range bite. And there's a drum crush overall uh, compressor for the, the, the drums, shells, I call it. No, no cymbals, no metal. And that's a distressor clones. And then we have a tape emulator. So let's uh, pop down and let's check out the other drum masters before we introduce anything new. Okay, so let's bring in our drum overheads and then our drum ambience which is the room sounds and fill out the drum sound
Okay, so the beauty of having faders is I can just pull everything down and go back again. I'm gonna watch my meters a little bit. Start from here. Okay, so I'm getting this little this one snare, main snare, a little bit better. I want to keep my metering available so I could watch it. I'm gonna flip it to my other screen. Okay, let's bring in the samples. So I'm adding a little 480 chamber to the sample. All right, cool. Let's bring in our overheads. You may have checked something out there. I soloed these and I, I EQ'd them a bunch. Then I disliked it, I tore it down, I started over, and it, it didn't take more than a few more minutes. And then the EQ bound, the EQ frequencies changed because the blend was different. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go to the rooms again and re-blend those. And what I didn't do, which I should have done, is I should have done a save as, and this will be um, 
drum. So if I ever make a mistake, I should say when I make a mistake, I can go back and I can I can get back one session and fix it. Okay, so a couple of things we didn't get to. We didn't hear the tom-tom. So let's put the toms in and let's auto align them first and see what happens. Ooh, sound good. Just adding some room sounds to the toms now. Let's check out the drums again from the same spot and I'll mess again with the kick versus snare blend and then we'll move on. Cool, that's a good start. So to recap my process with the drums, maybe this will help you. First thing I do is get everything phase aligned with the auto align plug. Number two, Fab Filter Pro Q. Taking away highs that aren't there and lows that aren't there. Then I'll sweep and find some undesirable frequencies. There's usually one somewhere in the lower mids or mids and dip. Number three, Brainworks SSL 4000 and then see what I can do additive EQ to make everything sound a little better on its own. Pull down the faders, start again. So for instance, if I did kick drum one, then I did the kick sample one, then I did the ambient kick sample all separately, I pull them down and then I rebalance them again, listening and looking at my meters. Then after that, I will continue with the snare, overheads, rooms, toms. Then I would probably pull everything down and rebalance again. And in this process, I would make a group for the kicks, a group for the snares, and a group for anything that has multiple faders, so it's easy to move. Then when I get that where I like it, I would make a group for the drums. 